Hi guys, Abs here. Welcome to a demonstration of our Bookmark Lover Syndication System. Now, I just want to make you aware, guys, that this is still in beta, and if you see the video last week, then there's been many changes, and we're actually opening up the doors for yourselves again um, to come on board. We need a few hundred users on board, guys. Um, so we're going to keep the sign-up um, form open for a little while um, until we see that we have enough beta testers um, to actually come on board and help us um, test. Um, now, the benefits for yourself, guys, is that you're going to be able to be you're going to be able to work with this system free of charge until it's in until it's out of beta. Now, I'm not 100% sure how long it's going to take, guys, but we're working on this system um, and we're hoping to bring it together um, as soon as possible. But obviously, not without you know thorough testing and this is why we need you guys on board um, now we opened up the doors last friday for 100 users the 100 slots were taken up more or less straight away guys uh, within the hour i think it was um, however we had slight issues on our end whereby it wasn't letting users actually add connections um, so we haven't got as many users actively working on the system as we would like as we would like well far from what we'd like actually um, so we're actually opening the doors now um, and it's a much more stable version as well. So I'm going to show you how, well, if you didn't actually see the video last week, guys, so let me explain exactly how this worked. If we go over to link campaigns, I'm just going to show you an example now. Um, so as you can see, we've got eight connections that we can work with. We've got delicious, Digo, Folked, friend feed, scoop it, stumble upon Tumblr and Twitter. And if you work with our bookmark lover system, guys, and you already know that we, we already have many other connections coded. Um, so it's going to be very simple and easy for us to actually get more connections added in here. Uh, but before we do do that, we want to test with what we've currently got um, before we introduce other ones. Now, the way this works, guys, as you can see, we've got a bracket in here and between the bracket, we've got a number and that tells us how many unique accounts we have in the pool now all we ask you to do is actually add your own accounts so you'll go to add connections we want you to sign up for one of each of these guys um very simple just go to digo and um, enter your username and details in here um, i personally used um social hub builder so as you can see i've signed up for every single one here other than tumblr because my i already had a tumblr account that i wanted to use um now all you do is add your accounts in here guys um, and by you adding your accounts you get to benefit from every single account that's inside of here now the system will never post your own content to your own accounts it will always post content from other users and the same is for your content as well your content will, all, will always get posted to other users as well now you might be thinking well why do i want to join this system um, 17 accounts is nothing um, well that's because we only have a few users on board guys um, as noted this means that only 17 users have added accounts so we're looking to bring that up to hundreds and hundreds which would mean you've got hundreds and hundreds of accounts to actually benefit from um, now the way this system works guys is is you add your accounts and your connection sorry you add your campaigns your campaigns are your posts um well you're going to name your campaigns first and then add posts to your campaigns so for example i've got four campaigns that i've created here you can create as many campaigns as you like um so i've got viral image wizard bookmark lovers big seo pr traffic booster when you create a campaign guys it actually gives you a date so you've got you, you name the campaign and then you tell the system how many days you want to run this campaign for um so you actually select the date so for example I'm creating a new campaign and I'll say, okay, I want to run this campaign all the way until March the 14th, for example, um, or whatever date. And you can always come in here and you can always edit the date as well, guys. So the software, say for example, all your campaigns were expired now and you never had no active campaigns open, the software will actually prompt you and tell you, hey, you need to add some more campaigns because they're all expired or extend your campaigns. Um, now inside of the campaign, guys, um, you've got posts. Now you just click on posts and you can add as many posts as you like. So inside of the viral image wizard, as you can see, I've got two posts, one called viral image wizard, one called create animated GIFs, and they are actually the titles that are being used. Now I'm going to click on edit so you can actually see what happens. I've got my URL in there. Um, I've got my title in there and my body. It accepts spin syntax, guys. Now you can add the spin syntax yourself or you can, or inside of the settings section, uh, you can add your, the best spinner details and then click on spin title or spin body and it will bring back spin syntax. Okay, so you can add your tags in here as well, guys. Your tags are gonna be used for places like Tumblr tags and any other sites that accept tags. Uh, you've got places for your hashtags as well. Now your hashtags are only gonna be used for Twitter and you can tell the software how many tags to use every time it makes a tweet um, now you've got a usage here as well so this is being used 40% of the time um, and then if you have a look at this one here guys this is being used 60% of the time 
Now what this does, it allows you to have multiple posts inside of a campaign and then basically just tell the system how many, what kind of percentage of them posts would be used um, for the campaigns. And then what you do is come over to link campaigns guys um, and you actually link your campaign to, so for example you choose your campaign from here and you link it to whichever connection you want. Now when you're linking connections and campaigns guys, the way this works is your connection can only be assigned one campaign at a time, however your campaign can be assigned to multiple connections at a time. So as you can see I've got the viral image wizard here, this is the campaign that I've selected and this has actually been assigned to Delicious and Tumblr and all these other ones I can't actually select them guys and the reason I can't select them is because they are being used by other campaigns. So. If we go over to Bookmark Lovers, for example, as you can see, that's using Digo on Fault. If I uncheck Digo and click on Save, and then I go back over to the Viral Image Wizard, as you can see, we've got Digo as an option to check again and up and assign to the Viral Image Wizard. But I'm going to keep that over with Bookmark Lovers. Okay, and the same applies with every single other one as well, guys. So as you can see, um, your connections can only ever be assigned one campaign, but your campaign can be assigned to multiple connections at a time. Now, the way this works, guys, is if we go over to view accounts and we go over to view accounts here, and then I go over to views, it actually tells you here as well, guys. So I've actually posted 18 times to my own delicious account with not failed posts and not failed logins. Um, now, if I go over to view settings down here, it asks me how many posts am I willing to to make to my own account. Now here, as you can see, it's already set as 10. What this means is on a daily basis, I'm willing to post 10 submissions or 10 posts from other users um, to my own account. Now obviously the submitter is gonna be doing that for you. This is the submitter here. We'll talk about this in a moment. Um, now what this is essentially doing, guys, is saying, okay, I'm willing to post 10 to my account. So what the system's gonna allow us to do is send our post to 10 accounts as well. Um, so obviously these are based on whatever account. So this is on your delicious account, it's set to 10, you're going to get 10 delicious posts a day. Digo account set to 10, you're going to get 10 Digo posts a day as well. And you can have a different setting for each each and every single account or connection. Now you might be thinking, well you know what, if I'm going to be posting 10 posts to my delicious account today, um, then what's the point of me getting 10 posts back from delicious accounts as well? Well, one thing to keep in mind, guys, is you're only posting to the one delicious account, um, but in return, you're gonna get 10 posts. Uh, okay, sorry, you're making 10 posts to the one delicious account, delicious account, and in return, you're gonna get 10 posts from 10 unique delicious accounts. And that's on a daily basis, guys. So today is gonna be 10 posts, and then tomorrow you're gonna get another 10 posts, and the day after you're gonna get another 10 posts. Now that all depends on how many you're willing to post. So if you're posting 15, you can get 15 on a daily basis as well. And that's exactly how the system's coded. Now, the benefit of this, guys, is you don't need to manage multiple accounts. You only need to manage one of each, so you don't even need proxies. Our submitter allows you to work with proxies, should you wish, guys, um, but you don't need to work with proxies. You only need to manage the one of each account, guys, um, and benefit from hundreds of accounts, depending on how many users we have on board. Now, the real cool thing about this, guys, is the randomness that our accounts get. So if I have a look at, for example, um, I've got a connection here. Now this is my stumble upon connection guys. As you can see, it's very random. It's only been used since February the 18th. Um, and none of these are actually mine. These are all from other users. Um, now a number of these might actually look same, might look the same guys. Um, and the reason behind it is because um, they're actually all different. So if you have a look, this is a, a different image to a different image. Now this might look the same as that. Sorry, this might look the same as that. But if I click on it, okay, if I, if I open a link in here, we can actually see here, this one was posted one month ago, and if I click on this one here, okay, that was posted one month ago on Tumblr, sorry, not on my StumbleUpon account. As you can see, they're actually different, um, they're actually different posts. Um, but again, guys, if we have a look at our system here, currently we only have um, 17 delicious accounts or say 16 Tumblr accounts or 15, whatever. Um, so as a result, um, the campaigns that are flying around in our system um, are only getting split between a handful of users. Um, so you can't really see the randomness that I would like to show you. Um, but as soon as we get 100 users on board or whatever, um, then you will start to see a real cool randomness um, that the system that does do for you. So as you can see, we've got our friend feed one here, guys. And with friend feed, we, you can post your YouTube videos, um, you can post Let's have a look. You can post your blogger links, you can post your Tumblr links, um, same with um, on, on all of these connections as well. 
Okay, so let's go back over to the system, guys. Um, so the way this would work is you'd create your campaigns first. You'll add posts to your campaigns. After you've added posts to your campaigns, you'll come over to link campaigns. You link your campaigns to your connections. Um, you'll and then after that, guys, you just run the submitter and the submitter will run on Windows startup, guys. Um, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, and it's very important that you leave it to run on Windows startup. So um, so that it completes its work throughout the day. Um, it only takes about half an hour to 45 minutes. We have inbuilt delays as well, guys. Um, and as you can see from our campaigns here, for example, if I click on the viral image wizard here, it actually tells me where it's been posted to. So this has been posted to four unique delicious accounts, to two unique friend feed accounts, scoop it, Tumblr, Twitter, whatever accounts. And the same, it tells me exactly the same with this as well. And if I actually go inside of the posts, it'll actually tell me how many times each post has been used. So this has been posted nine times and this has been posted 10 times. Now that's pretty cool. You're not gonna get actual URLs guys telling you exactly where your posts have been placed or where they've been posted. And the whole reason behind that is because we don't wanna be giving away these URLs. If you look at it on the basis as having your own private blog network or private free social media network, uh, which it isn't really private, um, but it's syndicated. So we're actually all working as a team um, to actually bring this um, benefit to all of us, um, which wouldn't have been possible otherwise unless you had hundreds and hundreds of proxies and you really had a system in place to randomize everything up. Um, so anyway, guys, we really want you to come on board please do come on board, but only come on board if you're gonna be working with the system, guys. Um, and the very first thing that you should be doing is adding your connections. Um, just go and sign up to every single one of these connections. You only need to do it once, guys. Um, and then after you've done that, um, go and add your campaigns, add posts to your campaigns, and then link your campaigns, download the submitter, and and run the submitter. Um, and that's all you have to do, do with it, guys. And the system will run and work everything else out for you. Just spend a little time to make sure your spin syntax is correct. Oops. Just spend a little time to make sure that your spin syntax is correct. Um, like that um, and you'll actually see everything reflected on here as well um, so as long as you're keeping your spin syntax correct guys you're not going to have any issues um, if you're using the best spinner guys then you're obviously not going to have any issues whatsoever um, but if you're entering your own spin syntax just make sure um, you haven't entered things incorrectly again guys the only rules that we have is no affiliate links no porn um, if you are found to have affiliate links um, or if you are found to be placing porn um then it's just going to jeopardize everyone else's accounts um so it can get accounts closed down um and if that does happen guys um then we are going to be looking to remove users from our system um which will be a massive shame um because as soon as we get you know thousands of users on this system which is our aim guys um and it's a very very achievable aim um then you'll start to see how powerful this system really is and you're going to want you're going to want to be part of it guys and don't spoil your chances by you know adding porn links or adding you know anything related to porn um or adding any affiliate links as well um and the reason we're saying this guys is because you know these web 2.0 sites they don't appreciate it themselves and they're going to close us down um so keep this in mind guys sign up come and benefit from it provide constructive feedback you're also going to get rewarded by having your campaigns being sent out and we're all going to be rewarded by each other um, participating in this system and of course me and my team are working very very hard in the background we've been working very hard since friday um trying to bring this together we've had a number of updates every single day um, and it, it's very cool now um, and we're just waiting for users to come on board now and as you can see this is the submitter guys um, you can test your accounts in here as well should you wish um, and it actually tells you the post count how many posts you've made to each account as well um, the Twitter figure here is actually in is not correct guys because we just made an update to that to our Twitter correct connection um, in the submitter um, okay, other than that, guys, um, this is how it works. Um, obviously, it, it runs while it's minimized. So there you go. Bookmark the Love Ascent syndication system is running there. Um, and there's there's really not much to this system once you have it configured. Just add your accounts, add your campaigns, add your posts, link your campaigns. And there you go, guys. And watch the system work its magic for you. Um, so please, guys, only sign up if you're going to be... Um, really work in the system. And the very first thing we want you to do is sign up to your connections, add them, add your campaigns, link them, download the submitter, and that's all you've got to do, guys. And, and you know, we're, I'm going to be opening up a new forum board as well um, for the syndication system, guys, so we can actually talk 
and you know share ideas in there make notes of any bugs make notes of any enhancements that we can bring to the system um, and various other things as well so i really hope you do come on board guys um it is really something cool to be part of it's new in the making um i don't know any other system that does anything like this especially leveraging the power of a community um, with like-minded users like ourselves um, so please do come on board and do participate guys, but only come on board if you are going to help us out. Thank you very much and I hope to see you on the inside.